Chapter 16, Mishnah 6. Some more leniencies that the sages allowed in order to allow a woman to, to remarry. Witnesses may testify that a man is dead and thereby allow his wife to remarry, even if they only identified his corpse by lamplight or by moonlight. We can also allow a woman to marry based on a voice that proclaims her husband is dead, even if we do not know whose voice it is. The Mishnah relates two incidents in which a woman was allowed to remarry based on an unidentified voice. There was an incident with a person who stood on a mountaintop and said, so-and-so from such and such a place has died. People went to the mountaintop but did not find anyone there. Nevertheless, the rabbis allowed that man's wife to remarry based on that declaration. There was another incident that happened in Salmon with a person who was heard saying, I, so-and-so, the son of so-and-so, have been bitten by a snake and I am dying. People went to the place his voice came from and found a dead man, but they did not recognize the body. Nevertheless, the rabbis allowed that man's wife to remarry based on that declaration. Since the corpse was not identified, the wife was allowed to remarry solely based on the voice that was heard.